Hey everyone, it's me, Doomlink, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass. It's currently part 14 for my Let's Play, and it is the 27th of March, 2019, as I am recording this. So, we are going to first and foremost go to Cannon Island, because we got a letter just before we departed Merkay Island, saying that Edo just happens to have a salvage arm ready for us to purchase from him. So, isn't that just absolutely dandy? Because if you think about it, he could have been ready with that salvage arm at any frickin' time. And yet he chose to be done with it right when we needed it. What a good man he is. Now, we shouldn't have to stuff around on his island anymore. So, we'll just go and talk to the guy. I mean, God, actually, that's a bit of wood. I thought that was steel. I was going to say, how did he get the steel all the way up there? But no, I don't think he actually... Uh, got steel. That's just a wooden plank that happens to be the right coloration to be steel, so yeah. Thank God we can go through the doggy flap. It's the perfect height for Link, of course. Then again, we are the same height as this guy. It's finally complete. The salvage arm will let you search, blah, blah, blah. How much is it? Yes. Alright, how much is it? Oh my God, we have to do the whole shouting thing. Go. Trying to blow into the mic. For that scream, you'll sell it for 300 rupees. What a prick! Does it really? Does he really sell you it for a different price depending on how you scream into the fucking microphone? Oh my god. Will I actually take it for 300? What if I say no? Nope. I thought so. The price is a little too steep, even for someone like you. Okay, I'm gonna blow into that mic like fucking crazy, alright? You didn't hear anything? Are you kidding me? So blowing into the mic doesn't actually make a dip- oh my god. I don't actually... <laughs> oh, I should have just taken the 300. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to put the mic right up to my mouth. And I'm going to... Uh... Alright. I am now talking into the microphone, and because I'm talking into it very... What? You didn't hear anything? Why are you so freaking deaf? Ah. Is that fucking good enough for you? Why can't he hear anything now? Did I actually blow the shit out of the mic? Is that what I did? Can I not complete this game now because he can't hear me yell at him? What a fucking annoying game. I'm not actually going to yell, but I will, you know, talk into the microphone like this. I don't want to yell. It's in the middle of the night. This is stupid. Whose idea was this? Oh, I'm playing my DS in bed at night. Let's yell into the frickin' DS because, you know, the game said so. Like, what the fuck were they thinking? Oh my god. I'm blowing into them right- why are you so fucking insufferable? Oh my god. I'm talking into the mic, like, directly into it. Hello, 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 Edo, you bloody prick. Wow. I should have taken the fucking 300. I should have actually taken the 300, so... Well... I almost hit deal. I'm glad- <laughs> I should have taken the 300, holy shit. <laughs> this is so bad. I'm not yelling into this thing. I'm not going to yell. So, I have to keep blowing and just hope that I get 300 again. <laughs> Oh my god. This is just so bad. I'm gonna keep blowing, man. <laughs> I 
for that scream. I'm taking it. Now, if I actually yelled as loud as I actually blew into that microphone, so for the actual sound being produced by that blow, had I actually yelled that fucking loud, I would have had the police at my door. So, like... <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, so long story short, if you get offered 300 take it for 300 Otherwise, you'll be having to pay 1000 So, seriously... Okay, so that was a somewhat successful venture. It ended up being more expensive than I expected, but hey, whatever. They do assume I would guess that you have more rupees at this point. Oh, it's the masked salesman now. Well, okay. Beetle will be north, so I can still talk to Beetle if I want. It's kind of rude that they... that the guy bends you over a barrel for 300 rupees for his fucking... Or maybe he'll even... Maybe he'll do it for a thousand. You've just spent a thousand rupees, and then you get to see the masked salesman. And this guy... Like, he sells a lot of expensive shit. So... I wonder what he sells in this game, I honestly can't remember. He sells, like, empty bottles and shit in... Wind Waker. And a heart piece. And a treasure chart. I bet he sells a treasure chart. Let's see what he sells. I bet he has a ship part or something. Why is, like, everything frickin', like, not even there? Is this a heart container? Are you kidding me? This guy sells heart containers. What a game. <laughs> what a game. Anyway, so, um, he's got two things out of stock because he's an asshole. But, uh, maybe we can save up for that heart container? I don't know. I really don't know. But, uh, for now, we're going to make use of this salvage arm. I should have actually gone to the X further down, like, that way. Anyway, let's go to this place here and go salvage. I don't even know how to salvage in this game. Is it, um, there we go. I was thinking, you know, that thing right there, that's probably going to have some relevance to it when it comes to what we can do with our ship as far as, you know, having these question marks here. I cannot remember what else we can do. Well, maybe, yeah, we're going to bloody salvage it, don't worry. But guess what? Salvaging in this game is completely different to how it was in Wind Waker, and you're about to see what I mean when I say that. It's a freaking mini game, man. Alrighty, so this has been a while since I've done this, but um, we can go down, we can go up, we can do all sorts of crazy things. But the point is that we can sort of control where it's going in terms of going up and down, but it will always move down regardless. So, I'm doing this to speed it up, so... I'll try to grab both of these rupees. Never mind, didn't really work out so well. Ooh, that's not even worth it, man. Ooh, ooh. That's, uh... That was actually not too difficult. Anyway, so, cool. We can go and grab the chest right here. Patch. But it's not over yet. You have to bring the freaking thing up as well. <laughs> this is so great. I honestly like this. This is really funny. It's so different to Wind Waker. Like, nothing even remotely like this was in Wind Waker, so... Yeah. I think it's pretty great. I mean, Wind Waker had mini games, but nothing like this. I think that's pretty fun. Alrighty. So now we can bring up the chest. The best thing about it is that you've got other things as well under the sea that you can get. Inside we get the sun key. Are you telling me that we have to go all the way back through those freaking levels just to get to that door again? That's really rude. It's shaped like the sun, yeah. Oh my god. That's really, really rude, actually. Hopefully we get a shortcut to that freaking sun door. Otherwise, that's going to be really terrible. I've only just been through those levels. I don't want to have to do them again. We must get a shortcut to that sun door. We must. Otherwise, I'm going to get really pissed off. <laughs> anyway. No, but seriously, like, closing the DS, that actually stumped me for a long time. And I actually worked it out. I think what I did was I actually closed my DS because I got pissed off and then I opened it again. And that's, like, what I had to do. I bet Nintendo just wants you to do that. They expect you to close it because you give up and then you open it again. And then it works. 
I would guarantee that they do that. So you can actually salvage pretty much anywhere on the sea, but whether or not there's going to be a chest de is determined by, um, you know, the position of the sea chart location and all of that business. Whoop, whoop, almost hit myself with that. We can collect some rupees while we're doing this as well, so I'm totally down for that. And I'm guessing what will be inside is rupees as well. When I say inside, I mean like in the... Quick, grab that thing. That's 100 rupees, man. Fuck yes. Alright, let's go grab the chest. Catch! Let's get out of here. So yeah, as I said, we can get ship parts from this as well, so I'm kind of excited about that. I'm definitely wanting some more ship parts. I don't know if you know me, but I'm a I'm definitely into customization when it comes to ooh, 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 ooh. That was definitely my bad. So, oh god, I need to work on my uh, my accuracy. Basically, if your salvage arm breaks, you'll have to do it all over again. I think that's literally all that happens. So, anyway. What I love about that is that it's clearly not having the chest directly at- but what the fuck? One minute is- <laughs> That's so insulting. One minute? Jesus Christ. That's nothing. Whoops. No, but seriously, that was like nothing. I really didn't need that. Let's go around to the- The X marks the spot over this way. I think we also have one marked on our other chart, don't we? No, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to check C chart like this. Do we have one up here? No! Subscribe to Doomlink. We do have one over there. We actually technically have two, but I don't know if that one that I marked is actually a treasure or not. But anyway. God, this is bloody terrible. I actually wasted all that time to get some sand of hours. It's just not, not even okay, man. Hopefully we can get that golden frog. If I do see him again, I will seriously try to hit him. I used to be able to hit him a lot better than I can now, so... Obviously something's up. I'm not as good at playing video games anymore. Hazard ahead, leap it. I do want to try and fire the cannon at that and see if it does anything. One thing that I just can't forgive about this game is how awful the islands look on the sea. They did not have to make them look so bad. They could have actually had them be realistic. That's one thing that this game does not match up to Wind Waker so well with. It's the fact that on the sea in Wind Waker, it is literally the island that you can get off the boat and walk onto. Whereas here it's like this completely deformed- Look at the Temple of the Ocean King! Look at it! It's like this deformed, childish drawing model. It's like they've made the thing out of Play-Doh. It's, it's terrible. Anyway. That's my only grievance with this game. It's how the islands look on the sea. I'm going to try and draw it to the center of the X, rather than right off it like I was doing there. Anyway. Let's do some more salvaging. I might actually go and salvage in the northwestern sea as well. Why the hell not? Let's get going. I think... Ah, that makes sense. So, the salvage arm gets repaired when we return to a port. The idea being that Linebeck will, like, fix it while we're there. Jesus. I've, okay, this is turning into a bit of a fucking nightmare, so let's actually not fail this time. We need to be very careful here. There's 100 rupees over there. Let's go grab that nice and carefully. We're seriously going to do this as carefully as possible. This is kind of deep down. No! <laughs> you broke the salvage arm, kid. Yeah, I suck. Alright, well, now we have no choice but to, um... We could instead go to Banana Island. No, let's not go to Banana Island. Let's just go to Merkay Island. Let let's limp our way back to Merkay Island and actually go to the... Temple of the Ocean King and try to deal with this stupid sun door. I'm not impressed with the sun door, quite frankly, because, um, ugh, anyway. Maybe we don't use the sun key yet. I hadn't even considered that. Maybe we don't use it 
in the Temple of the Ocean King. I don't know, whatever. Let's just, let's just go to the Temple of the Ocean King, see what happens. Maybe we won't have to go through the whole stupid thing again. I'll be very happy if we don't have to. If it looks like we do have to, then I'm going to have to look online and see what we do. Because I have a feeling we need to take this sun key to the next dungeon. Which I can bloody well tell you does not need another sea shard to access, so... Yeah, I really don't know. We will have to have a look and see. Hopefully it just takes us straight back to that sun door. And then we can be done with it. The Temple of the Ocean King. Oh my god. Here's what you need to understand, guys. I'm not going to manually go all the fucking way back through the Temple of the Ocean King just to get to that sun door and it be like... Oh, you can't open this door. So, I'm going to look online to make sure that that's actually what I need to do right now. So, I'll be back in just a moment. I freaking knew it. This isn't where we're supposed to go. I actually knew it. So, let's get the hell back out of here. And we are going to go on a little bit of a salvaging journey. Not that we need to, it's because that's what I want to do. So, we're going to go and do that. I guess that sand of hours is permanent. It's not just like a temporary thing. So maybe it's all right. What did it add again? It was like one minute. So it added a permanent minute to our phantom hourglass, which is actually all right. I'm not going to complain about that too much. It's not too bad. What I'm actually doing right now is playing while looking at the TV, which is actually really crazy. But to be honest, like this is what I would have had to have done if I played on emulator on my computer because I was actually going to get a drawing tablet and play that way and obviously like the game isn't displayed on the drawing tablet so I would have to look at my computer screen and then draw on the drawing tablet so what I can tell you is that it's actually not too bad if you do it that way but it is a little confusing so I'm gonna go ahead and continue playing on the bottom screen if you don't mind anyway you should have fixed the salvage arm now so let's um try again with the salvaging business Salvaging does indeed get us a decent number of rupees, so it's actually pretty good. I'm going to go to this place over here, and then I will go north, talk to Beetle, get that bomb bag from him, and I'll salvage some more. And we'll maybe also see what's going on with that X that I had to mark. Well, not that I had to mark the X, but that I did end up marking. We'll see what's going on there. And yeah, let's uh, jump there. I did say that I was going to shoot it with a cannon, but I forgot. By the time I remembered, it was a little too late. And I don't really want to take unnecessary damage on my vessel. But anyway. We're about to come to a halt. There we go. Oh, it's not letting us salvage. Is that fucking thing broken? God damn it! How do we fix it? I guess we have to go to the guy on Mercay Island to fix the thing. Unless we go to Edo, which would be terrible. That would actually be terrible if we had to do that, but it does make sense if we need to fix it through that guy. Obviously, breaking your salvage arm is not ideal. Not recommended, so actually try to do it properly and not mess around like me. I had no real sense of how bad that would be, so I just did it and broke it, whatever. But I think we want to talk to this guy. I have indeed busted my arm. Thank you, only 100 rupees, that's easy. I can definitely afford that shit. I can make 100 rupees back in a second. I could make it back on this island, man. You wanna know something really frightening? I actually, like, okay, before, and this is a window into how I used to be when I was playing Zelda games, and also how I used to make use of my time. One playthrough before I had even left this island, Merke Island, I had collected a thousand rupees. Now, do you understand what kind of time allocation that requires? And what kind of lack of anything else worthwhile to do that requires? This is quite a thing, you know, just collecting a thousand rupees on Merke Island before you've actually left the thing. I think it was a thousand anyway, maybe it was something like 700, I'm not sure, but it was a lot. And I just had no business owning that many frickin' rupees at that point in the game, but I did. I don't think I had any problems with rupees after that, because I was always ahead. I wasn't actually uh, looking at my screen there, so I kind of messed that up, but anyway. We're not allowed to mess up with the salvage arm, though, so we're going to have to uh, 
try to not have any problems there. So we are allowed to salvage again now, which is very nice. Very nice, let's go do that. Dun, 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 dun. I do like the music, but I can barely hear it, so that's a thing. Going to... Uh, I'm not going to play it quite so safely, but I'm going to try to be reasonably accurate. Ooh, that was really dangerous, actually. I don't think we'll be given another 100 rupees there. I think once we've taken it the first time, it will disappear forever, which would make sense. Alright, quickly go to the side. Come on, man. Now, there's another one in the middle here. Oof, that was good. That one's really dangerous, actually. Hold on. You know, the actual style of this here reminds me a lot of Symphony of the Night. Like those underground areas. Not just Symphony of the Night, but also, um... Actually, mainly Symphony of the Night. But, you know, those underwater areas where... He oh, God. What are you doing, kid? Relax. I don't know how the bloody hell you would be able to do this anyway. Like, if Link's on the boat, right, controlling the thing, then how would he know what's going on down here? Is there a fucking camera system on this salvage arm? If so, I think paying 300 rupees was a bit too much of a, a bargain. Okay, so let's, let's get up here, man. This is hard. It's very hard. Okay, let's just go. Get to the boat. We've still got three of these lives here. So let's see what's in this damn chest. We went through a lot of difficulty to get this thing, so... If it's one minute in the Phantom Hourglass, I'll be pissed off. What is it? Oh. My. God. Okay. Well, it... <laughs> oh my fucking Jesus. So... I'm assuming if we wanted to, we could repair the salvage arm to full using less rupees than 100. If it's at this level, but, um... I'm going to not. Well, there's a, we've been to this traveller ship, so I'm not actually going to go to that ship. I'm going to stop right next to it. What that means is that it's going to continue along its normal travel path and hopefully get the bloody hell out of my way, so... Yeah. Actually, how long have I been recording for? That's a good point. Let's have a look. Oh, I'd better actually end the frickin' video soon. Uh, I guess I'll end it... just up here. And then I'll make another video, I suppose. Thanks for watching everyone, this has been part 14 for Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass. In the next video, we're going to salvage and hopefully not break our frickin' salvage arm. I will see you guys then. Bye bye.